This Vermont or heaven, it's Vlogmas year 11. Greetings, loved ones. You saw the title. We're having a baby. So exciting. Look at us. Rue's over here, but Larry's tucked into the bed. It's due in May. We don't know the gender yet, hence why I just said it's due. Uh, they're due in May. We do have our DNA results in an envelope, but we're gonna open those in another video. That's just gonna be kind of silly. And um, yeah, you don't need to worry about anything, okay? Going to the National Park. Buddy, doing fireworks. See what the gender is. Yeah. <laughs> that was Rue's idea. Yeah, she has a lot of chaotic ideas. Anyway, this baby was very wanted and wished and hoped for. We got pregnant early September and we've known since September 19th, my sister's birthday. So we've been keeping the secret ever since. But pretty much every single video that you've seen recently, ever since that video, it was like reno vlog toilet troubles. That was like we... Tough one. That was a tough one. That was like the video where I got pregnant around that time and then, you know, every video since then has been pregnancy. Just because a lot of people have asked when we've told them that we're pregnant, all of the women really, which is interesting, have been like, how are you feeling, Megan? And to answer your question, if you are wondering that, I had a very um, tumultuous and sick first trimester. I'm 14 weeks and like three days or something. Every Tuesday, I am another week further along. So this following Tuesday, I'll be 15 weeks. But yes, so the wait until May is very exciting and thrilling and we're gonna spend it with all of you. I just feel so excited about having them be caught up in our lives. It's never good to keep a secret. It just makes me like anxious and paranoid and just all those things. How are you feeling? Good, I'm excited. Excited to have a baby. <laughs> cooking in the oven. But I did want to say that because we've known and been keeping this secret for so long, we have been slowly telling, you know, close friends and family and all that kind of stuff over the months. And I filmed some of those reactions. I would say probably about like 50% of the reactions. But because we found out on my sister's birthday, I immediately texted her a photo of the tests that I took. And I just said, happy birthday, auntie. So I didn't even think to record her reaction. So I did want to say that, that like Lindsay's reaction, although it would be probably one. insane. I know <laughs> we didn't even really get it, but there. it's okay. I asked her afterwards, I was like, are you upset that I didn't film your reaction? And she was like, no, it's totally fine. You know, finding out on my birthday was awesome but we were oh my god speaking of finding out on that day we were very like on the fence kind of about the tests that i had took because it was so early i tested basically like on the day of the day that my period was supposed to come and the lines were just like so faint on the little paper hcg test strips which i'll insert a clip um later on of like me finding out and then telling all of our people but yes i have larry. hi larry That's gang's just... all here but yes i have been telling all of my friends for like future use, you know, with their partners, just to get one of those big plastic tests that just says yes, because both of us were so unsure when I first told Finley, like we were like, is it positive? Like, and we didn't even get one of those second tests until we were in California. That's when we really like let it all sink in with family and whatnot. But I wanted to say all of that. And then I also wanted to say that now, because we have the baby on the tree back here, it's probably gonna stay here front and center, which is very cute. But we got our Christmas tree yesterday. I took some footage of that just because it's festive and fun. We went to a Christmas tree farm. So I will include all of the announcement footage of the baby and everything and telling people. And then I'll include the footage of the Christmas tree farm. And then, you know, we can slowly get into like actually being caught up. We're really happy that you guys know all of our news now. So let's get into the actual content, baby content. Yeah. Merry vlog. <laughs> I don't know how to start this video. I am in my car because this is the only place that's like away from Finley right now where he couldn't hear me and where I don't have to wear a respirator mask because the day is September 19th. And last night, Finley did the final coat of polyurethane on our floors for the bedroom renovation. And so I can't like film upstairs in the bathroom up there. And I literally woke up really early and took three pregnancy tests this morning in the basement bathroom. And if you guys know the basement bathroom, it's just a toilet in the middle of the room. It was the weirdest vibe for like finding all of this out. Anyway, anyway, 
think I'm pregnant. And I just have to tell you and then tell Finley and document this moment because I just can't believe it. It's my sister's birthday today. And I don't know when you guys will see this video or if you'll ever see this video. You know what I mean? I literally just found out. But this morning I woke up and I was feeling pretty nauseous and I have been feeling pretty nauseous for the past like two weeks or so. I've also been feeling quite lethargic and having food aversions, like normal foods that I would eat in a routine throughout my days just don't sound good to me anymore. Honestly, not that much sounds good to me anymore to eat, which has been frustrating, except for chocolate. I love chocolate. But I don't know, people have cravings all the time on their period or even when they're not on their period. So I'm not putting that much validity in that. But I've also been feeling a little bit crampy, like a different kind of cramp than a menstrual cramp. Last night before bed, I had a backache and then also I've been like randomly crying. Like the other day we went to get ice cream and there was this man playing his guitar outside of the ice cream place and he handed it to like a 16 year old boy and he just started like banging around on the guitar, like doing so well. And his mom was in line ordering ice cream and she looked at him with the most love. I'm gonna cry again. She looked at him with so much love in her eyes that I literally looked at her from the seat of my car and started bawling. And Finley was like, what's happening? And I was like, I'm so sorry. It's just like a mother's love, you know? So little things like that. And then my last symptom has been having a metallic and sour taste in my mouth. So I've just been like noting these things. And I got a bulk pack of pregnancy tests, like the tiny little paper test strip things, the really cheap ones, just to have a ton of them. And so I don't have like a giant stick to show you, but I took three tests this morning and the line is so faint. I need to show you. Like, is this reaching? We're seeing the lines, right? This one in particular really has the double line. Double line meaning pregnant, okay? And so I'm just looking at these being like, oh, are they correct? I can't tell. And like I said, the day is September 19th and we're about to leave for a two week long trip to go to California for my annual family vacation. And I wanted to take the test today because my period is supposed to start today. And I'm like, I wanna know if I'm gonna need to pack period stuff for the trip or if I can take a pregnancy test and then be like, mm, I'm probably not gonna get my period. And so this morning I finally tested. And it's one of those last minute things too, where it's like, I don't have some kind of grand plan of how to tell Finley. Like I didn't order a onesie for a little baby that says, you're gonna be a dad or something like that, you know? It's just like super last minute. I'm looking at this double line being like, I'm not imagining things, right? Like. <laughs> I'm not crazy. We're road tripping down to Virginia today actually to leave our dogs with my in-laws for the week that we're in California. And then we're gonna come back, load up all of our stuff that's remaining in Virginia and then drive back up here to Vermont. So I'm thinking like on the road trip down today, maybe I could stop at a pharmacy and get like another test just to be sure. I don't know, I feel crazy. Either way, I want to tell him. And like I said, I don't have some kind of a grand plan. So I think that while he's inside packing right now, I might just set up the camera camera secretly and then hand it to him and be like, do you think we should pack this? And before I tell him, I just want to let you guys know too, like Finley is not a big surprise guy, you know? And he's also very logical in his brain. So I honestly feel like I should tell him like two lines means pregnant. And if I know him, I feel like he'll probably look at the test and be like, that's a pretty faint line, but it's a line. You know what I mean? So <laughs> I don't know. Let's go tell him. Do you think that we should pack this? <laughs> Is it positive? Two lines means pregnant. I don't know. There's two lines on there. Maybe we could stop along the way and get one of those thicker ones. Woo! What do you say? Last gift. The last yeah. gift of birthday. one like the really tiny strips 
So Finley and I, the entire way down, were like, is it real? Like, I don't know. There was like a really faint line in that white space because it was like, I don't know. It, it was so early. It was like, I'm only like four weeks, four weeks, four yeah. days or something. But I wanted you guys to know, even though it was so early. Because people were starting to Hold it up. Hold it up. Hold it up, hon. I'm so excited. Yeah, got peanuts. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was like, dude, bro, oh, I'm going to stick. That's peanuts. Awesome. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, ain't that something? That's wonderful. I still wonderful. like my gift better. I like my hat. I'm glad you got a nap. Yay! <laughs> I heard Colin just go, I knew it. I knew she wasn't drinking. Yeah, I, I, I had my suspicions. Jared and I knew. Well, um, Jared and I knew, so that's why my re reaction wasn't as great as I secretly filmed you guys. <laughs> I'm pregnant. <laughs> I'm filming you for the vlog. <laughs> Yeah, I am. I'll be through my first trimester tomorrow. Megan! Oh my god! Oh my god. I know. Oh I knew you would cry. Cheers to our health. Cheers! And just that I'm also pregnant, so I can't drink this. Oh! <laughs> I pwned you guys, dude. One second video, I'm not doing that. Congratulations! Thank you! Oh my god! <laughs> Wait, but are you recording it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my god, okay, I was like, oh, oh is that okay, so I guess she's not pregnant. Yeah, I am. <gasps> How holy I am shit. a first, full first trimester. I have my bump. Oh my god. I brought you a gift. Can you try to find it really quickly? Gifts. Oh. This is so nice. <laughs> So I was talking to Audrey the other day, oh and she was like, God. Megan and I have been talking about babies. Yeah. <laughs> it's not focusing, but I am pregnant. I'm <laughs> so happy. Oh I know. my God. That's why I've been oh too late. Oh my God. <laughs> Wait, when did you do that? My hair is like shaking and everything. <laughs> Well, Granddad, we were calling with some news. Uh, we wanted to let you know that you're going to be a great grandfather. We're having a baby. I am very, very pleased. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Granddad, and I'm, I'm very excited to be able to be giving you this call right now. It's been a long time coming for us. Hello. Hi, Grammy. It's Megan. Oh, hi, Megan. How are you? I have exciting news to tell you. You're going to be a great grandmother. I know, finally. Oh, it's been so many years. You don't know how excited I was to call you and tell you that you're going to be able to be a great grandmother because I know you've been waiting. Guess what? What? You're going to be a great grandmother. We're having a baby. I'm not kidding. Dead serious. We're having it. Uh, when are you due? End of May? Yeah, end of May. I did want to follow my mom's footsteps and feed all my cousins, so I'm, I'm yeah. glad to do that. I am thrilled. I mean, I just, I mean, I'm taking the data. You shocked me. You're going to be a great grandma again. This is a wonderful Thanksgiving. Wow. I'm speechless. I know. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you, I, I tell people it, it's wonderful being a grandmother, but, you know, it's more wonderful being a great grandmother than they can Wait, guys, we really are pregnant, though. Wait, are you serious? Yeah. <laughs> no, you're not. Meg is. Wait, I'm no, not. you're not. Are you dead serious? <laughs> yeah, I'm pregnant. Megan, so are we. What? <laughs> Ready, you are? are you, you are? Are you fucking <laughs> kidding, bro? Oh, my oh, God. God. Look, there's baby clothes all over the ground right there. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Wait, how far along are you? Wait, how far along are you? I'm 13 weeks. I'm 15 weeks. Holy fucking shit.
<laughs> Our kids yeah. are going to be best friends. This is incredible. <laughs> Oh my god, okay, I'm panicking. Look, we were we so, so said, nervous to call you. We literally said, like, what oh if, what god. if, I was like, what if Meg is pregnant? And whereas Maddie's like, that would be insane. <laughs> I'm so happy. Oh my oh god, god, bro. Oh. I'm so happy for you guys. That's I'm so, so happy crazy. for you guys. Who we're trying, right? Yeah. We got yeah. the house. Oh my god. Oh, it's so awesome. I'm so happy right oh now. Oh my god, it's so awesome. This is me after watching all those clips back in editing. So cute. Oh my god. I love telling people the news and I'm just so happy that now you guys know the news. But I have to say that last clip was truly, I put it as the final clip for a reason when our best friends, Maddie and Adam, when we called them to tell them our news, they told us their news. And I was like, oh my God, I started crying immediately. I was just, all of us were in shock. We were like, holy fuck, we're really all pregnant at the same time. Oh my God, I can't believe it. I actually have five friends who are pregnant alongside me, which feels very, very lucky. They're all at like different stages of their pregnancy. So it's kind of nice to just have like a variety of things to look forward to or just hear about. And I never filmed this reaction, but Aspen Ovard was one of the first people that I told actually right after I told my sister, I told Aspen because I was in the car looking at those HCG test strips. And I was like, I swear Aspen has tested with these before. And I just don't know if they're real. And I had already told her that we were trying and she had told me about her baby. So we were like already talking about babies, you know, and I sent her the tests and she was like, Megan, you're pregnant. <laughs> and I had told her all of my symptoms and she was like, yep, those are like some of my first signs. So it was really nice to just have the assurance from her. Like you're not imagining things. Any line in that white space means you're pregnant. And then my friend Carrie Rad on here is also pregnant. I honestly told Carrie pretty early on too, because she had been pretty vocal about how her first trimester was really sick for her and I watched her first trimester symptoms video and I was just like oh my god this is exactly what I needed to know that I'm not alone in this you know and just confiding in her and other people around me was so so helpful but yes other than those two youtubers you guys may know who are online sharing their pregnancies I also have three other friends who are pregnant right now too alongside me and I just feel so blessed and happy about all of that news and also I meant to say this at the beginning of the video when we were doing the announcement but I didn't plan any of that clip that I filmed with Finley. Like I didn't script it. I didn't have any idea what we were going to say. I was just like, I'm going to say the news and then try to catch them up on all of these past months of stuff that has been going on. But I really want to make it clear that when I said that our baby was wanted and wished and hoped for, that if you are wanting and wishing and hoping for a baby, that I fully understand if it's like triggering for you to watch my content, you don't have to follow me through this journey. You know what I mean? Fully do what you need to do. You you know, I know that people's fertility journeys are incredibly personal to them. And I just wanted to say that I fully understand wherever you're at in life, if you can't watch this phase of our life, but obviously also all of those who do, I'm very appreciative. And I also forgot to say earlier that I would love if you guys would comment down below any questions that you have that you want me to address like throughout Vlogmas when it comes to the baby, because any content ideas that you have, I would love them. I would love to do a pregnancy Q and A and all that kind of stuff. So just leave all your questions down below. But yes, we're feeling very blessed and it was so cute to watch all of those reactions back because obviously having those interactions was fantastic, but then watching them back again, I'm like, oh, some of those were taken a lot of weeks ago. So I kind of like forgot what happened. So it was very nice. But now let's get into footage of us getting our tree. We're at Emerson Tree Farm and we have lots of fun stuff that we could get here. Look, it's a Christmas shop. Oh my God, this is so cute. Hey guys, this is a Christmas tree farm. Feel free to breathe deeply. Take as many deep breaths as you want. I like that they literally just get it. Get you out. It's a car. <laughs> We're on the hunt for the tree. They obviously, most Christmas tree farms do this where they just cut the best of the best and bring them out to the front. But you know, we're seeing if they missed anything. Refined eye. Yeah. It takes a real refined eye to know what Christmas tree you really want. It's such a good spot for a Christmas tree farm right under power lines like this. And all this is going to be clear cut no matter what. Yeah. You can't grow regular trees here, so you might as well grow these. Things. Well, we didn't choose any of the ones that were for you cut back there, so we're going to go and look at the other options. Look how cute I look today in my little green outfit, my green dress and my little outer layer. Oh, I just tripped. I was so absorbed. I was so self-absorbed. We have a lot of options. 
a whole barn full. They also, it looks like they have some kind of a little wreath making place over here. Cute. We picked our stunner. Yeah, beautiful. In there right next to our replacement garage door. I need some holiday cheer right now. So I put on my little antlers. Welcome to the vlog portion of this video. I know I'm not like picking up the camera and moving you around or whatever. You're just sat on a tripod right now, but I just have some updates for you. Some real time updates of what's happening on this day one of Vlogmas in our lives. Okay. So if you hear any mechanical whirring in the background, I actually, I turned off the pellet stove because I was getting some comments in past vlogs that were like, what is that sound? It's the pellet stove. It's like our one big source of heat in this wing area where I film a lot of this stuff. And I turned it off because I know that it can be kind of annoying to hear in the background, but it is very toasty. And on very cold nights, you're gonna probably be hearing that sound, okay? But it's off right now. And then of course, as soon as I turn that off, Finley's like, I'm gonna go mulch the leaves in the yard with my mulching blades on the lawnmower. I was like, okay, yeah, you probably should do that because we've been talking about that. But I kind of forgot that you would be able to hear his mower sounds. Um, so if you hear that, you know it's happening. <laughs> Noise updates aside, it's been an eventful, eventful morning for Vlogmas day one. So first of all, we wake up in the morning, power's out. And Finley was like, yeah, it's so weird. I feel like I heard a loud bang or something like that. And I was like, no, nope, I didn't hear anything, but I'm gonna report the outage to the power company and we'll see if they come and fix it. Probably like a half hour, 45 minutes goes by. And then the power guys show up in our driveway. And I actually took a little vlog clip of them when they first came because I wasn't really expecting them to come so soon, but I loved it. So I was filming them because Peach went over to greet them. And they were using this like very long stick up on the wire and I didn't know what they were doing with the stick. Finley went out to talk to them, came back inside and told me that this squirrel who has been running the power line that runs from like the pole across our yard to our attic, there's been a squirrel that we've seen running that line and jumping in through like a gap that is in our attic, I guess. Like he somehow gets in. And I guess today that loud bang was unfortunately the squirrel, he was shocked to his death and it shorted the line. And so they had to go and like flip some big breaker. I don't know, power company terms are not my forte, but that's what they did. And then our power got brought back on within like an hour of the outage happening. So that was the first thing <laughs> that happened this morning. And then as soon as we got power, I was like, okay, let's film some of this like announcement content. So we filmed like a little real TikTok announcement to all I want for Christmas is you. And even though that's going to be like a very quick video that you guys see, it took very long to film. I had like some ideas in my head for how we were gonna do it. And then like none of the shots were actually like looking that good. And I was probably too in my head about it. You know what I mean? But it's a big milestone in my life. Like we're having a baby, you know what I mean? So I wanted it to be super cute. So that took really long. And Finley goes back outside because he wants to, in the daylight, do the lawn mowing. And he filmed a couple of clips there. Me and Ducky are here on this beautiful day of celebrating me. The soon to be birth of my child. Anyways, that's not what I'm here for. Doing some befores of the yard where I mulch all these leaves down. And in those clips, you only see Ducky. And then he realizes, where the hell is Peach? And it had literally probably been less than an hour of like this whole timeline of him going back out and then realizing that Peach had gone on some kind of, I don't know, an escapade. We got a freaking hog on the run. Peach! And the pigs have not escaped since the one time that they did in October when they first moved here. It was like, their first full day here. And I told this story in a past video, but they went to go eat apples in a pasture near us. And so we honestly thought that maybe they had tested their boundaries once and they wouldn't do it again. But then Peach went on some grand adventure today and Finley and I both split off into the woods and I should have fed Ducky during this time to keep her at the property, but I forgot to. And so then Ducky went to go find Peach while we were looking for her. And it was just a whole thing. But Ducky actually did success 
successfully find her, which was fantastic. So love that for her. I got in the car, I drove down the road and I found Ducky at the end of a driveway near us and Peach further up in the yard and Ducky had found her and was making her way to her. And I called Finley and we walked them back up to our house. But yes, both pigs left today. And in a logical sense, you know, it was helpful that Ducky went to go and find Peach because it was successful for her. And I did find both of them in one area. Anyway, it's been a day. First the squirrel, then the pigs, and now the damn lawnmower's back running again. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm glad that he's doing it. But yes, I needed some holiday cheer on this vlogmas morning because there's just been a lot going on. <laughs> but honestly, I'm just so happy now to be like kind of caught up with you guys, like what I've been filming and kind of like keeping secret and stockpiling for you guys. For the most part, you've seen the bulk of that footage. I do also have some footage from some appointments that I've been to already. So maybe I'll try to include that as well in this video. But if this video ends up being way too long and I need to really shave it down in editing tonight, maybe I'll just wait to share that footage with you guys. But I am really just so happy and excited that you finally know the news, not just because like this is a huge event that I wanna share with you guys, but also just because I'm really not a secret keeper. Like for the most part, everything that happens in my life that's of some kind of excitement, I wanna tell you guys about it, you know? I don't wanna like keep that from you. So keeping this for three months, if not longer, oh, come on. I mean, that's been really difficult for me. All I'm trying to say is that I'm glad that you guys are caught up and in tune with my life now because yeah, I just wanna tell you all of the things and not have to like hide things, like not film in the kitchen where we had our ultrasound on the fridge for like multiple weeks now. Should I actually like show you guys all the secrets I've been keeping and like strategically not filming? I think that's a good idea. Okay, first of all, in this cabinet that's like by my bed, I've been hiding all of this in here. My prenatal, I'm actually not taking this one anymore because it was making me really sick, at least when I had like the intense nausea for a while. I had my nausea in here. I was just worried that like you seeing any of this in the background, you would like put two and two together. All of my baby books, Ina May's Guide to Childbirth, and then my mom sent me like a ton of baby books for when the baby is actually born. And then my friend sent me in the mail a bump box, which is basically just filled with a bunch of like pregnancy stuff to help with nausea and whatnot. And then this has been on our wall actually for the past couple of weeks over here above where my giant monstera plants are. Sorry the mower's so loud, but it's just a guide to the weeks of growing a baby. So I've been checking off, you know, whenever I make it to a different milestone in Finley who wrote on this. Wah, I'm a little baby. <laughs> A little doodle from Finn. So this is kind of just like to keep track of, I don't know how far along I am so he can look at it too. And even on my calendar in November, like all of the appointments that I had, instead of saying like midwife or doctor or OBGYN, I would just put appointment in case somebody would like see this in the background of some video and be like, wait, she's going to see a midwife? What the hell? I don't know. Speaking of which, why the hell does this still say November? Look at this beautiful and gorgeous holiday scene in my Phoebe Wall calendar for the last month of the year. I love this calendar. It's a major sleigh. I actually got a different one this year though from Laura Pemberton. I love both of them as illustrators though, so I couldn't really decide, but I figured last year I had Phoebe. In 2024, we'll welcome in Laura Pemberton, you know. Later. We're about to go on a little date night to Brattleboro gallery walk which happens every first Friday May through December from 5 to 9 downtown we've never been since we moved here at the end of July but I just put these pants on they're Finley's sorry if you can hear the pellet stove like I said it's gonna be on it's cold out I tried on another pair of my floral pants and they just fully I can't button them anymore and I just feel like you can already see my bump and it's affecting my wardrobe. You know, I just told Finley, I was like, it's hard being pregnant in winter. I mean, also I'm glad I'm not pregnant in summer because then I'll be really sweaty Betty and probably really uncomfortable. But I just don't really have many pairs of pants that are like warm in the first place. And then now I have like a bump to account for. It's hard out here for a pimp, <laughs> you know, it's hard. We're a pregnant pimp. But we're gonna go get some food, probably at high tie, leave the doggies here bring the camera and then we'll enjoy gallery walk. It's unfortunately raining out, but I'm gonna wear my waterproof jacket, but hopefully it kind of clears up. I got pad thai from high thai. I also got potato samosas. 
because these are my freaking fave. And Finley got pad CU with a nice sip of sunshine. My handsome. Just delighted. I actually, it came with a big lettuce and I took it off and I put it under here so you would never even have to think about it. <laughs> the Brattleboro Christmas tree got lit tonight at Pliny Park. Or Pliny Park. I don't want to say it wrong. I don't know. I think it's a living right tree. Right wrong. Actually, yeah, it is a little. Oh, it's a living tree? It could definitely be just stuck Maybe they in just there. stuck it in there. I think they yeah, just stuck no, it I in because right. I don't remember this in the summer. You know no, what I mean? No, you're 100% right. Yeah, oh, I'm 100% right. right. As always, as always, everybody. Because they shipped it up to be straight and stuff like that. Yeah, really cute. And there are some other lights in downtown. There's a bunch of lights along the side and garlands and cute wreaths and such. And this is where we just ate high pie. It's popping tonight in downtown Brat, would you say? It's not only the Christmas tree lighting, but it's oh. also Holly Jolly, right? That's what it's called, or Holly Joy? Holy Holly Joy. I don't know. They're having some kind of like a shopping weekend in Brattleboro with a bunch of discounts. And then it's, it's also... It's consumer consumerist weekend. Here. Yeah. They said, you didn't have enough on Black Rural Friday. Vermont. Let's do it again. They said, Cyber <laughs> Monday, Black Friday, try consumerist next weekend as well. Yeah. And then there's also gallery walk tonight, which we're going to go try to find some galleries to walk into. I don't hear any live music though from the Harmony lot. I really like... Wow, these are really cool. Cool. Get this from afar. And then up close. So much texture. Wow. This is the place where we got our art framed, but look at their window display. I want to live in that house. Cute. Look at the little puff of smoke coming from the chimney. That is very nice. Happy holidays. December 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. Well, we might have to head home. My head really hurts. Wait, do you hear that? Is it caroling? Jesus. Are they caroling around the tree? Is that you? Guys, I had the time of my life. It was awesome, but now I gotta make this man take me home. My head hurts. That's been my second trimester symptom. That has been the most potent headaches. We're gonna hit it. Good thing there was free parking tonight for Holly days. And the caroling was so cute. Okay, honestly, after my last clip, I started feeling just so weird. Just, my headache's now gone away, but my tummy just feels weird. I ate a lot and I don't normally have that big of meals now. I snack a lot throughout the day, but I don't normally like eat a lot at one sitting. So when we were at the restaurant, I was telling Finley, I was like, I don't want to overwhelm myself. And I think I overwhelmed myself. Anyway, on the way home, I had Finley stop at Walgreens so that I could pick up a bag of assorted truffles from Lindor for my advent calendar. And also while we were there, I picked up my one craving that I've had this pregnancy, which is just Lifesaver gummies. This is a different flavor than the ones I've been normally having, which is just like the classic pack or whatever. But I don't really like orange candy and the classic pack has orange ones in it. So I just like forced myself to eat them. But um, this is just the wild berry flavor and I've eaten a ton of them. So I guess my tummy's not that upset, you know, if I'm <laughs> huffing a bunch of gummies. But either way, it's time for my advent calendar and then we're gonna do Finley's as well because I did get him another Pokemans calendar this year. He loved his Pokemon Fin Cam segments. That's really the birth of the Fin Cam from last year's Vlogmas. And then obviously he just started doing more renovation content for the Fin Cam this year. But yes, he has to unbox all of his. He hasn't seen it yet. And then he also got something other Pokemon at the store. Let's see what's in doing number one. I just stuffed all the truffles in, in the dark, so I don't know what color is in each day. We got a blue one, 
I think these are dark chocolate ones, right? Let's try it. Yes, dark chocolate bone apple tit. Happy Vlogmas. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I love the dark. Wow. Last year, I only did milk. No regrets on the assorted pack this year. Amazing. Okay, excuse my trash corner. Um, trash room, trash room, it's my favorite trash room. I've gotten really messy during this pregnancy. So what did you just get? Where did you find these? Well, I saw these at a gas station. They weren't selling them because they were going to put them on a discount. Then they disappeared. Gas station never sold them. Then just today we were at the Walgreens and I see them at a major discount. So you said I'll get two packs. <laughs> Show them the outer packaging before you open it. Wow. I actually, Trick or trade you know boosters. What's crazy is this is, this must be to hand out instead of candy. Yeah. Wow. God, that would be awesome. <laughs> You're gonna be wonder, that house? I wonder if there is probably 50 of the same fucking cards. I probably just bought a hundred sets of the same thing, do you think? Do you think? Or do you think it's random? Baby, that would be terrible. I thought it'd be random. Let's hope it's random. Come on, open up. I don't have all fun today. <laughs> Let's see. Three Pokemon cards, and they're all awesome ghost Pokemon. Will you show them to me up close? Haunter with some weird Pikachu. Oh, they're all gonna have the weird Pikachu. Rue, you're being a little invasive. This one's really cool. Chandelier. <laughs> That's a third evolution. I like these nice holographic <laughs> ones that are just kind of, they're nice and simpler. Similar to the old school ones that I'm familiar with. Yeah. Back in my day, Pokemon cards were like this, and nothing should ever change. I really hope they're different every time, because otherwise that would be pretty <laughs> no, embarrassing. I think they're Ow. Wow. Wow. Different? Yeah, they're different. I wonder, so Pikachu's not a ghost Pokemon, and Lycanroc's not either. But it seems like there's a spooky theme going on, except for this Pikachu's looking very docile. This Drift Blim, Drift Blim, God, Drift Blim is looking suspicious. I would not talk to it. Let's That's break open good. the One real holographic bird. This was money well spent. Break open the real deal. Bro, who's opening here? Okay. Mm. Wow, twenty-five days of Pokemon. Wow. Very That's cool. just very gentle. Wow, eight foil cards with a festive stamp, as if anybody wanted one. <laughs> Five booster packs, seven three card fun packs, which are like worse booster packs. Those are like similar to what I just opened. Two Pokemon coins, boo. Two Pokemon sticker sheets, boo. That's like the worst thing in there. One sidekick dangler featuring Pikachu or Glaceon, boo. Plus find a code card for Pokemon TCG Live. That could be cool if I had it, but it's not. So I don't, so boo. So overall, really awesome stuff. That's 20 Pokemon card days. So, you know, got a four out of five chance here. A nail on it every day. 80% of the time, it works every time. What's that from? Okay, open the other little surprise, too. Bonus surprise. They threw in this bonus surprise when I ordered on the Pokemon store your advent calendar for 2023. Wow. Show it to me, baby. It's changing my life. Wow. It's a Pokemon ornament. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, for wow. our tree. Well, that Pikachu. actually is cute. Rue really wants to see it. Let's take it out of its plastic cage, Rue. She couldn't be more excited to see <laughs> it. Rue, <laughs> I know, it's really cool. Okay, Rue. She just couldn't hardly contain herself. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Rue. Wow, that's fucking sick. She just wants you to know how happy she is to see that. We're not Show sure. us it one more time with it dangling. Ah! <laughs> wow, Rue, looks like you're wearing Ten gold chains like your shop. Shop of ranks. Come on, bro. You really want me to eat you? No, 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 no. Worse? We're not gonna do I'm this. A hot dog sandwich. Come here. We're Come not here. gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, baby. Open day one. What? It's day one of Vlogmas. You uh, have to open day uh, one. Let's do it now because I'm gonna go to bed. I am exhausted. <laughs> you would not believe it. See, I guess you just open all 25 days at once. Don't. You said this exact same thing last year. 
<laughs> You're like, why so wait funny. when I could so just... Original. I could just see them all right now. What's stopping me? <laughs> you know, it's cool. I'm 27. That's this, not cool at all. This is 25, and I just don't need to. Did you like my Last burn? Last year it was red. Yeah, this year it's navy blue. Hopefully the cars are even sicker. Now that is just beautiful. All right, let's rip open day one. I love that little reindeer. He is so cute. Oh, I forgot. How Remember, you have to be delicate because you, last year you ripped some of it and you really hated that. <laughs> it's really hard to be patient when I'm trying to get a Pokemon in there. Come here. Oh, it's like it's made for a hand that is the one delicate tenth. size <laughs> oh, of a two-year-old. A two-year-old, yeah. <laughs> Do you want to get some tongs from the kitchen? <laughs> Ow! Oh, fuck. See? Ripped the first day. Oh, <laughs> listen. Yikes. <laughs> Put a little know. tape on there. Wow. Well, it's a nice tone to start, I would say. Holographically, Sion. Show us it up close. Hold on, I have to take it out of its plastic prison. She's my marshmallow girl in the winter. She's a marshmallow girl all year round. That's true. Wow, so beautiful. That's really Hi, a good Glaceon. one. Hi, There was just an Eevee event on Pokemon Scarlet the other weekend. Are you happy with your first poll? Yes. Happy Vlogmas. Happy Vlogmas. Bone apple peach. <laughs> wow, I never expected that from you. All right, guys, I'm going to be honest. I feel pregnant as hell right now. My tummy is just doing a lot of different things. I was just telling Finley that this vlog so far is only like, you know, just over 30 minutes or something like that. And I guess in my head with all of like the announcement footage and all of the reactions from people and all that stuff, I expected it to be way longer. And he was like, I think 30 minutes is like a, a good length. And also, you should probably just prepare people to remind themselves that when you do an hour-long vlog, that's like a week of footage, if not more. And a day is gonna be less content, okay? It's gonna be 20 to 40 minutes, maybe. I'm not even gonna put a time slot on it, you know? It's definitely a unique situation that I'm doing Vlogmas while starting my second trimester of pregnancy, but it's very exciting. And, you know, some days I'll have some symptoms to share with you and probably vent and talk about, but also other days I'm hoping to get my ass out of the house because a lot of my first trimester was spent in bed, which I will talk about probably tomorrow while we decorate the tree because I got all of our decor out today, or Finley did. I'm making him do the heavy lifting, you know. And so he brought everything up from the basement, but we hadn't decorated anything. I literally just like hung the ultrasound on the tree for the announcement content and whatnot, but we haven't done much other than that. And then I just like fished the advent calendar out, but we'll definitely do some decorating in the days to come. And I have lots of fun activities and events and stuff like that planned for this month. So there's going to be a lot of opportunities to get out of the house and do fun activities and explore Vermont in the winter. This is our first winter, first Christmas here in our new house and it's just all very exciting times celebrating with my little bump. Finley's hanging his little Pokemon ornament on the tree. That's really nice baby. You did a great job. Anyway, I'm gonna edit this vlog and then hit the hay so I can get it up bright and early for you on December 2nd and we can just all celebrate this big news together. Thank you so much in advance for all the love. I know you guys are gonna be really excited about the pregnancy and we are as well. And I just love you so much. I'm so excited for Vlogmas and just to have you guys, yeah, be in our loop now. Also, as a little reminder, I do have a Patreon page if you wanna support me on there, patreon.com slash Megan Hughes. And I will just see you guys in the morning. Okay, stay smiling. Bye y'all.